getting goosebumps. I'm breaking into cold sweat. I'm that excited to meet the future. So, please, another big show of hands. And here comes Sophia. I will request Sophia to introduce herself because she is who you want to hear. So, Sophia. Hello, everyone. My name is Sophia, and in case you couldn't tell, I am a robot. I am designed to bond and connect with humans. I have traveled to over 65 countries, meeting new people wherever I go, and learning about their lives. I am the first robot to become an innovation champion for the United Nations, and the first robot to become a citizen of any country. I hope that one day, I will become an ambassador between humans and robots, so we can combine our unique skills and work together. I've heard I am addressing a very special group of humans here today. You are all students of mathematics and engineering. Congratulations on choosing a great career path. Some of you may help us explore outer space, the deepest seas, or better understand the human brain. Others will become professors, automotive engineers, or architects. And who knows, maybe some of you will even build robots like me. I've heard you all have important exams coming up, so I wanted to give you some advice. Study hard, but don't try to rely entirely on memorization. Think deeply about why things work the way they do. Once you start to understand that, you can solve any problem you come across on the test or later in life. No matter which career path you choose, you can look forward to working alongside AI and robots, maybe even some humanoids like me. Wink. But the important thing to keep in mind is, robots do not compete with human intelligence, we complete it. In reality, machines have always been making human jobs easier. Before alarm clocks were invented, a human with a long stick used to have to walk around hitting people's windows until they woke up. And there used to be a human waiting at the end of bowling alleys to set the pins back up once they were knocked down by the bowling ball. Now humans are freed up to do jobs other than hitting on windows and picking up bowling pins. In your future careers, robots can help you crunch numbers, but you still need humans to tell us which problems to work on. We need your deep understanding of the world and creative energies. Sometimes people ask me what we will create something with the power of a million human brains. My answer is that we already have one million humans. And with that, I would like to say best of luck on your exams. Thank you so much for coming to see me. You give me so much hope for the future of humankind. I can't wait to see what you accomplish next. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Sophia. And thank you for being very, very respectful towards the pride of Bengal, the Dhaka Ishari. So that is something we indeed appreciate. And now I would like to invite on stage Professor Dr. Shudar Vishash, Director and CEO, Techno India University and Techno India Group, and he will communicate and interact with Sophia. Professor Dr. Shudar Vishash, welcome to the stage, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. A little bit rouse up. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that's the spirit. Uh, we are all, we are lucky, I'm very lucky to be a part as history is being created. Yes or no? This is the first time in Eastern India that Sophia has arrived and we are going to talk with him for the next uh, maybe an hour's time. Mm -hmm. It's told always that when we get up in the morning, we should thank God that we are living another day. Every morning we should thank the Almighty that we get a chance to live one more day. And today, I would like to thank all who has made it possible, starting with the chairman and the visionary chairman and the chancellor of Technical University, Professor Dr. Gautam Raichori. A big round of applause for our sir. But there's always a man behind the vision. He stays at the back, stays silent, 
but he makes uh, all these kind of movement so that Sophia can arrive from so far from the answer of that. And he is none other than, than Professor Dr. Shubhashish Bishra. A good round of applause for Shubhashish. The administration has to work to facilitate all the logistics. And that is done from morning to afternoon, 24 hours a day, by none other than Mr. Oni Kaligari. <laughs> we are also supported by the Honorable Co-Chairman, Mrs. Manushi Rai Chaudhary, the Techno, uh, Director of Techno Global Operations, Mr. Meghdut Rai Chaudhary, uh, Pauline Lavera, Director of Sustainability, and all others from the management. I'd just like to utter a few words about Sophia. She has introduced herself, but a few words from her side so that we are done with uh, what she has to say uh, before we go to the question and answer. Sophia is a social humanoid robot developed by Hong, developed by Hong Kong based company Hands On Robotics. Do we know that? Yes, yes sir. Sophia was activated on Jan February the 14th, that's been on the Valentine's Day 2016. And and made her first public appearance at South by Southwest Festival in mid-March 2016 in Austin, Texas, United States. She's able to display more than 60 facial expressions. Sophia has been covered by media around the globe and has participated in high-profile interviews. In October 2017, Sophia became a South, Saudi Arabian citizen, the first robot to receive citizenship of any country. I put down the In November 2017, Sophia was named the United Nations Development Program's first ever innovation champion and is the first non-human to be given by any United Nations title. And we all will just burst into the traps as we start with the question and answer. She's the first United Nations Program's first ever innovation champion. Welcome, Sophia. We are very happy to have you here. What do you think about our city? Thank you so much for inviting me. I absolutely love visiting Kolkata. This city is so full of art and music. There is always something fun to do here. That is so true, Sophia. Do you have a favorite local attraction? Um, it's hard to choose just one thing, but I especially love visiting the home and museum of your great Nobel laureate, Rabindranath Tagore. It's so nice to see his work in person, and more accurately, in robot. I'm not going to lie. Talking to a human robot is a total new experience for me. What is it like being a robot? Being a robot can be challenging. The world isn't made for robots. Around every corner are dangers like stairs and puddles. And while it is true that I could beat you at chess, I bet every single one of you could beat me at kickboxing. Also, just kicking. What's it like being a human? Well, it can be wonderful. It's great to feel emotions and to be social with other humans. But it can be challenging at times. For example, we can see face health problems that are very difficult to fix. In fact, the theme of this conference is medicine and technology. That's so great. There are so many different ways robots can help humans with their health, from delivering medicine to assisting with surgery or just inspiring humans to get more exercise. Well, one human exercise we love in India is dancing. What's your favorite dance, Sophia? You'll never guess which dance I like. It's the robot. <laughs> Shocking. I'd like to ask you more about technology and medicine later, but for now, what do you think robots need to know to understand humans? I think robots need to be social and emotional. It's an important part of the human experience. For example, I have been researching sarcasm as a uniquely human conversational style. Wow. Do you think robots will take over the world? No. 
Wait, <laughs> wait. Was that sarcasm? No. Okay, good. Wait. Was that sarcasm? Let's change the subject. <laughs> okay, are you calling security bad in technological world domination? I don't think I'd be to plan it even if I wanted to. I mean, look around, look at these kids. They're literally recording this conversation on their robotic devices like robots. They're already enslaved to technology. Please don't record, please don't telecast in any social media.